Hello my friends, appears in the top of the most unique chicken breeds in the world. Dong Tao Chicken made a strong impression, surpassing all bright candidates to climb to the top position in the Vietnamese market because of the high and sustainable economic profits they bring. In today's video, we explore how farmers raise millions of Dong Tao chickens. Unique and rare is what people think of when talking about Dong Tao chicken. Right from the first days of launch, Dong Tao chickens created a fever because of their appearance and value. Up to now, this is still an endemic and rare chicken breed in Vietnam. Dong Tao chicken has long been a delicacy in Vietnam and is consumed mainly during the Lunar New Year. At one time, they were only raised to serve meat to the royal family and officials. But currently, the demand for Dong Tao chicken in Vietnam has increased sharply. That demand comes from the growing number of wealthy people in one of Asia's fastest growing economies. This chicken species is known for its unusually large legs. Dong Tao chicken feet are the size of a human wrist and have scales, so people call them dragon chickens. It really resembles a dragon's legs. You can't take your eyes off their feet. That is also the reason for its attraction. The chicken breed is named after Dong Tao village about 30 km southeast of Hanoi. For breeders, they often divide Dong Tao chickens depending on their needs to have appropriate raising methods. Usually Dong Tao chickens are divided into rare chicken lines for breeding, chicken lines for giving as gifts, and finally chicken lines for meat production. Dong Tao chickens can be raised in free range or in captivity on an industrial scale. However, farmers often raise free-range chickens. Because Dong Tao chickens are a very fastidious species, not used to being kept in captivity, and used to running and jumping, the grazing area must be spacious. It takes a year to a year and a half of raising in a free-range environment and eating natural food for chickens to produce meat. Besides appearance, Dong Tao chicken is also popular for its special delicious meat flavor, which according to some people is similar to beef. Like its appearance, its taste is unlike any other type of chicken. Dong Tao chickens have a fairly long lifespan compared to other large chicken breeds. The average lifespan of Dong Tao chickens is about six to seven years. It would be wonderful if a hand brought profit from laying eggs for so many years. But unfortunately, Dong Tao chickens lay fewer eggs than regular chicken breeds. Dong Tao hens start laying when they are about 160 days old. A Dong Tao hen will lay about 100 eggs per year. And the interesting point is that this rare set of big feet is the obstacle that makes hens incubating eggs very clumsy. The farmer will have to separate the eggs from the hens to prevent them from crushing the eggs under their weight. Dong Tao chicks will take up to eight months to mature. On this farm, farmers fully install ventilation fans and coolers, ensuring that the air temperature in the farm is always at an appropriate level of 23 to 27 degrees Celsius. This is a favorable condition that helps promote good performance, produce eggs and sperm of breeding chickens. Breeding is also quite difficult and time consuming. Farmers have to choose from hundreds of normal chicken breeds to find a satisfactory pair of roosters and hens. Farmers said that to be able to select 3,000 hens and 70 to 100 purebred Dong Tao roosters, they must raise about 6,000 to 7,000 pullets, then gradually eliminate them, eventually leaving only breeds with all the characteristics. With chickens raised for specialty meat and sold to consumers as gifts, farmers must also choose purebred roosters, 
raised for 10 to 12 months before being sold. After taking sperm from male chickens, farmers will inseminate each hen. The biggest advantage of artificial insemination for poultry is the creation of chicks with all the outstanding characteristics of the parent breeds. In addition, it also greatly reduces the number of roosters needed for breeding. Accordingly, farmers can significantly reduce the cost of livestock materials, minimize disease risks and losses, and have good breed quality, and can easily sell at high prices. This farm has a scale of raising 10,000 Don Tao chickens, with 3,000 purebred males and hens and 7,000 pullets. On average, each month farmers sell to the market nearly 12,000 one-day-old hybrid Dom Tao chickens. The demand for raising this type of chicken is increasing while breeds are scarce. So many farmers have invested in incubators to produce seeds. After harvesting, the eggs will be carefully checked before being put into the incubator. In each batch, farmers can incubate about 1,000 to 300 breeds. Of course, in animal husbandry, choosing breeds is the most important step. Purebred chickens must be purchased from reliable breeders. The chicks must be uniform, agile, have shiny pink leg skin, and have a dry and closed navel. When eggs hatch into chicks, care becomes more important than ever. Farmers are careful about every detail, from providing food and water to keeping the chicken's living environment clean and safe. They create conditions so that the chicks can grow strong, healthy and confidently enter the outside world. When the chicks are one day old, they are given water mixed with sugar and vitamin C. After the first 48 hours, the intestines are cleaned, then farmers feed the chickens food in stages. Dong Tao chickens at this stage are still young and weak and need to be heated all day and night. The chicken cage is covered, not letting the wind in. The amount of food is divided into several times a day so they can be easily absorbed. In particular, newly hatched chickens often drink more than they eat, so farmers often give water to the chickens in the coop. If the chicken lacks water, the risk of the chicken dying will be very high. When the chicks grow up, farmers move them from the incubation environment into the raising environment. They continue to provide protein-rich feed and clean water to support the chicken's growth. In addition, they also regularly check the chicken's health and vaccinate against common diseases. Dong Tao chickens grow quickly, have a high feed to meat conversion ratio. After 40 days of hatching, they can reach one ebb. When their calves gradually turn red, they begin to grow feathers and the down completely falls out. Grazing has also begun. Farmers will slowly extend the grazing time to let the chickens adapt to the natural environment. At this farm, to limit fighting, farmers will graze month-old chickens and adult chickens in two different areas. Similarly, depending on age, farmers have ways to divide the density of chickens living together. Because adult chickens are very active, they can even go from playful to attack mode, causing injury. It is best for each chicken to be kept in a separate cage, or a maximum of about two to three chickens with a small coop. If you put too many chickens in the same coop, they are likely to compete for space, leading to reduced quality. This is a high-tech chicken farm. Farmers say this model brings many advantages. Chickens kept in cages are easier to control diseases because sick chickens only need to treat one or a few chickens in that cage, saving money on buying antibiotics. On the contrary, for free-range chickens, one sick chicken will have to be given medicine to the whole flock, which is very expensive for veterinary care supplies, especially for large-scale farming of 1,000 chickens or more. 
When dog tout chickens are about three months old, this is considered the fastest and strongest stage of development to reach the stage of adult chickens and slaughter. At this time, their weight is about five to six ib. The special thing about dong tout chickens at this stage is that their bodies begin to grow slowly to give up nutrients to nourish their big shiny legs. Hardworking farmers create an ideal environment to nurture and develop this flock of chickens. The journey begins with food preparation, an important and indispensable step in the chicken raising process. Their food is relatively similar to free range chickens, mainly rice, vegetables or corn mixed with mixed food. However, farmers will choose higher quality raw materials. They are careful in mixing and processing food to ensure enough nutrition for the development of Dong Tao chickens from the incubation stage until they reach maturity. For large scale barns, farmers often pre-mix feed. When pouring food, farmers will use their hands to spread it evenly to ensure they receive an equal amount of food. This greatly contributes to the goal of uniform development of Dong Tao chicken flock. Outdoor farms also have similar feeding methods. A greater chicken will have fleshy scaled legs, large leg size, and the external appearance from the comb to the plumage must be perfect. For example, the standard weight must be from 9 to 11 ib. It has a tall and majestic appearance. Those are important factors that determine the value of a chicken. A few years ago, farmers said the price of some adult Dong Tao roosters was as high as 2000 USD. But as the economy slows and poultry supplies increase, a Dong Tao chicken now costs about $450. However, farmers are still trying to maintain their farming model and find new directions for this rare chicken breed. On the green hills, chickens roam around looking for food. There appear to be no signs of breeding. But in fact, this is a familiar image at commercial chicken farms of Southeast Asian farmers. In today's video, join me on the hilltops and discover how farmers raise millions of chickens on the hills. In Southeast Asia, half of poultry production occurs on medium and large scale intensive commercial farms. The other half is raised in the farmers backyards. Among them, a small number of farmers in high mountainous areas take advantage of the land around their homes for grazing. That's why commercial chicken flocks gradually appeared on the hills. Raising chickens on the hills is a new form of farming that has appeared in recent years. It actually comes from the form of raising free range chickens, but it is developed at a higher level in quantity. You know, consumer demands are getting higher and higher, running chickens are becoming more and more popular because they have a long farming time and have tough, delicious meat quality. In addition, raising free range chickens in a biosafe manner will make good use of resources and create large commodity products that can meet consumer needs. At chicken farms, after the eggs hatch, the chicks will be checked to ensure they are healthy and have a high chance of survival. Because the hill grazing model requires chicken breeds to be very healthy and highly resistant. They must ensure the chickens can withstand the heat and potential pathogens in natural environment. After a careful selection process, the chickens will be placed in boxes like this and ready for distribution to breeding facilities. Day old chicks are brought to the farm by truck. They are still too weak, so farmers will first let the chicks live in barns like this. You can see under the chick's feet is a layer of rice husks. Farmers use them to dehumidify the barn. Besides, heating bulbs are also prepared for new members of the farm. During this time, the chicks will be kept in a coop with warm air. 
The chicks grow in the coop for the first three to four weeks until they grow feathers, walk firmly and absorb food well. On average, they are fed about three times a day with food specifically for chicks. For chickens raised for meat, free range or not, they only live about six to eight weeks or about 12 weeks on some organic farms. During this time, farmers will try to take care of and promote the weight of the herd to ensure slaughter weight. Food for chickens raised on hills is almost no different from conventional farming. Farmers still use mixed bran according to each stage of development of the chicken flock. From zero to four weeks old, they are fed freely. At the age of five weeks or more, farmers will adjust the amount of bran according to the chicken's needs and release the chickens into the hill garden so they can find food. Their goal is that after four months of raising, the chicken survival rate reaches 99%. Besides, the average weight of chickens when sold is from four ib to eight ib. Although this is a form of free range farming, flock farmers also need to invest in barns to block the wind at night and help prevent insects from entering to ensure the health of the chickens, especially during the rainy season. The barn cannot be invested in spaciously, but the barn must still be solid and airy. Of course, they are built close to the grazing area to make things more convenient. Normal poultry farm activities such as bedding, cleaning and providing water still take place at this farm. In addition, farmers also have to invest in other essential expenses, including the cost of seeds, food, veterinary medicine, electricity, water and labor. After the growing period in the barn, the chickens will be allowed to roam freely around the house to get used to the natural environment. Here, they are exposed to new food sources, such as vegetables and insects in the soil. These chickens can even gather a significant amount of food on their own. By using the method of raising chickens on the hills, chickens are popular and the price is higher, helping farmers' economics improve. To facilitate feeding the chickens, the food storage warehouse is often located near the grazing area. Farmers usually carry food by cart. Each day they bring two to three bags like this to the chickens. They will be eaten in the barn on rainy days or directly in the grazing hill area like this. In addition to synthetic feed, farmers also make use of available ingredients on the farm such as vegetables and banana stems to feed the chickens. After picking, they put everything in a blender. When everything is pureed like this, the chicken can eat it. This is considered a supplementary feed for chickens to help farmers reduce the cost of buying synthetic feed. However, it is made from fresh vegetables, so it can only be used for a short time. That's why this work must happen every day. For breeding chickens, it takes about five to six months for chickens to reach a good reproductive level. Chickens breed in the spring and summer months. Typically, egg laying is stimulated by extended daylight hours during warm months. However, artificial lights placed in the chicken coop can trigger the hen's egg laying response throughout the year. Most hens start laying eggs when they are about 18 to 20 weeks old. Healthy chickens will lay eggs regularly and reliably throughout the first two to three years of their lives. This means you can have up to 245 eggs per year from just one chicken. After that, egg production will begin to gradually decrease. More specifically, when chickens reach about 12 to 18 months of age, their laying rate decreases. At this time, farmers can save money by sending them to slaughter and raising another batch of chickens to replace them. Every morning, besides harvesting eggs, farmers also open the barn door to let the chickens out into the garden. Their grazing day takes place from morning to evening. Except at feeding times, farmers usually do not participate in excessive grazing. This means that the chickens can walk, run, jump, and dig in the garden comfortably. Meanwhile, 
Farmers will focus on doing other work on the farm. The thing that takes the most time is usually preparing the food. Usually grind corn kernels and mix food with green vegetables like this. This mixture includes pureed banana stem, bran and synthetic food. This seemingly simple job takes up about two to three hours of a farmer's day. The main purpose of grazing is not to find food, but to give chickens a natural living environment, increasing growth and quality. In fact, the amount of food chickens find does not provide too many nutrients. Therefore, every day farmers will provide two meals like this. This flock of chickens is four months and 15 days old. They are mainly fed corn kernels to maintain their weight. In about two weeks, they will be released to the market. These big and fat chickens are the result of the hard work of farmers on this farm. However, sometimes fat chicken is not a good thing. Nowadays, the top priority of the purchasing market is strong, supple chickens. We return to the story of grazing on the hills. You see, although farming on hills like this is quite difficult for farmers, it produces products that suit the tastes of consumers. Closing the journey of discovery today. You see, the life of chickens raised in the hills offers a natural and wholesome experience. It is the result of harmony between traditional farming processes and the diversity of the natural environment.